video on resonance of mesomeric effect myself savita associate professor department of chemistry maharani science college for women we know very well the electronic displacement pertains to the movement in a molecule or an ion when an old chemical bond is broken and a new chemical bond is formed it is the movement or the electron displacement that decides which is the preferred direction of movement of electrons the understanding of the organic reactions at atomic or molecular level is completely dependent on the electronic displacement resonance or mesomeric effect is one of the electronic effects that we are going to look in this video as we all know when we have a two double bonds in a molecule that are separated by a single bond they are said to be in a conjugation and the molecules of such bond we call to be a conjugated molecules for example when we take the 13 butadiene eh, we have two double bond that is a pi bond separated by a sigma bond in between and here each of the carbon has undergone sp2 hybridization and as one p orbital containing one electron and the process we call it to be the conjugation having three or more p orbital on adjacent atom and this allow the p orbital to overlap an electron to undergo delocalization so whenever the p orbital overlap the electron density in each of the pi bond is spread over a larger volume and thus the lowering of the energy of the molecule and making it more stable and whenever we have a pi bond the electrons can be localized that is restricted to a particular region or delocalized which do not belong to a single atom or exclusively to a bond between two atom in the earlier slide we have looked the structure of 13 butadiene where we have a delocalization of the electrons coming to the benzene as we all know benzene is an hexagonal ring of carbon atom and this has three sigma bond and three pi bond which are alternate to each other so each carbon have an unhybridized p orbital which is perpendicular to the plane of the ring and this six p orbital overlap to form a pi cloud above and below the plane of the hybridization In 1872 August Kekulé proposed the following structure for benzene however this structure did not account for the unusual chemical reactivity of benzene so when i say a conjugated double bond system we have three double bonds which are alternate to three single bonds and when we look at the reactivity the benzene is quite stable and it undergoes only the electrophilic substitution reaction and we often represent the structure of the benzene has an hybrid of two equivalent structures and these structures were called as kekulé structure so each of the structure that is the hybrid will be contributing to the properties and the cc double bond or single is neither a double or a single and something is in between and hence the concept of hybridization of atomic orbitals and the theory of resonance developed in the 1930 which provided the first adequate description of benzene structure so in order to explain the difference in the expected and the actual behavior of the conjugated molecule 
the concept of resonance came to the existence. So here we have represented the benzene structure which is a planar, it's a cyclohexane molecule which is a regular hexagon which has the sp2 hybridization with the bond angle of 120. And when a compound having a certain molecular formula, for example in benzene C6H6, which can be represented by different structural formula, which differs only in the position of the double bond or in the other way to say, in the arrangement of the electron pairs and not on the atom, struct structures are called as resonating or contributing or canonical structure and the phenomena is called as the resonance. So, to define it, when a single Levy structure cannot explain all the property of the molecule, and hence we propose many Levy structure for the same molecule to explain the property, and this phenomenon of writing more than one structure for a definite molecular formula is called as resonance and the different structures that is the Levy structure which contribute to the phenomenon of the resonance or called as resonating structure or canonical structure or contributing structure. So whatever the resonating structure they are hypothetical and individually do not represent any real molecule. So here the compound can be represented by more than one structure and the contributing structure or the resonating structure. So it's not that it is a hybrid but each of the structure will explain the certain properties of the compound which cannot be explained and these are the two resonating structure of the benzene and this is the way of representation of the resonance a circle towards the periphery or a slash double bond along the periphery represent that they are the resonating structure. So the definition for the resonance, the withdrawal of releasing effect of electrons attributed to the specific substituent through the delocalization through the pi electrons which can be seen by drawing different canonical structure is called resonance or the mesomeric and the simplest symbol that we use to represent the mesomeric or the resonance or the capital M and capital R and we indicate a double headed arrow between the resonating structure. So let us look into a few examples of resonating structure. So as said cyclically completely conjugated rings for example the benzene have two resonance structure which are drawn by the movement of the electron in a cyclic manner around the ring. So the other example which I am going to give here is 1,3-butadiene. So it's a conjugated diene. Here because of the movement of the electrons we can have three resonating structure and here it involves the charge separation. So these are the resonating structure for the butadiene. So there is a shift of electrons to here and we get this resonating structure. And when it, the movement of electron occurs in the opposite direction, this is the resonating structure. And another example is the monocarboxylic acid. So we know this is the functional group of a carboxylic acid, C double bond O, which is and COH and as we all know carboxylic acid or acidic in nature and here the acidity of carboxylic acid can be explained based on the 
resonating structures. So the resonating structure differ in the position of the electron which is very well seen here. We have a oxygen with 4 and here 6 with a negative charge and because of the shifting of the electrons the bond here the oxygen gets a partial positive charge and it makes the electrons pull towards the carbon and resulting in the release of a proton in the other way i say monocarboxylic acid or acidic in nature coming to the characteristic features of resonance all the properties of a compound cannot be explained by a single structure and the canonical structure or the resonating structure differ only in the position of the electron and this pi electron undergo delocalization which decreases the potential energy of the molecule and the hybrid of the canonical structure is more stable than the individual structure and this resonance structures are imaginary and the resonance energy is equal to the actual energy of the hybrid minus the energy of the most stable contributing structure and at the end i like to give a statement Resonance is a measure of the stability which we will be discussing in bit later. Coming to the rules for drawing the resonance structure. The molecule should be a plane R and it should have a conjugated double bond system with an alternating single and double bond and the most important thing here during the resonating or in the resonating structure, the position of the nucleus should remain unchanged. For example, when we take the tautomerism, that is K2 to N0, they, the position of the nuclei changes and hence they are not the resonating structure. And the resonating structure must have the same number of paid and unpaid electrons and the negative charge must preferably lie on the most electronegative atom and the charge needs to be preserved in all the resonating structure. The electrons move away from a negative charge and the energies of the various resonating structure must be either the same or almost the same. And all the contributing resonating structure sometimes do not contribute equally towards the hybrid. The equivalent structure which have greater contribution gives the higher stability. And others should be drawn to indicate the direction of the movement of the electron. Coming to the different types of the resonance. So, we can classify two types plus R plus M and this classification of resonance is depend on the nature of the functional group which is present to the multiple bond and the resonance of two types plus R and minus R. So, the, we coming to the positive resonance effect. In this effect, the transfer of electron is away from the atom or substrate group attached to the conjugated system. So, if I take this to be the substrate, it is away from the carbon atom. Or whenever we have an electron releasing groups like OH or your ORSHSR, they exhibit plus R effect. For example, aniline which has a lone pair of electron, it is toward away from the atom of the substrate and this is the plus R effect. The second is your negative resonance effect. Here the effect is observed when the transfer of electron is towards the atom or substrate group attached to the conjugated system. 
So the groups having like NO2 or COH which are electron withdrawing tends to withdraw the electrons from the multiple bond through the resonance and hence they are said to have the minus R or minus M <coughs> effect. So only taking the NO2 group this is one of the example. <coughs> Coming to the effect of the resonance. The first and important thing is the bond length value. So we take your benzene structure. We have three single bonds, free double bond. When I take the bond length of carbon-carbon single, it is 1.54 angstrom and the double bond length is 1.34. However, when I measure, experimentally it has been determined that all the carbon-carbon bonds that are present in the benzene are identical and they have the same bond length that is 1.39. Therefore, the structure of benzene cannot be represented by a single structure. It is represented equally well by the energetically similar structure 1 and 2. These two structures are known as resonance structure. The actual structure of benzene is a resonance hybrid of both the structure 1 and 2. And this is the way which we represent for your resonance hybrid. So when I take the bond length, the bond length are neither a single or a double, but it is intermediate between suggesting that the bond is neither a single nor a double. And this is because of the delocalization of electron that results in the resonating structure. The next effect of resonance is the resonance energy. As we have already defined, the difference in the energy between a resonance hybrid and the most stable of its hypothetical contributing structure in which electrons are localized or a particular atoms in a particular bond is called as resonance energy. And one way to estimate the resonance energy of benzene that is we compare the heat of hydrogenation of benzene and cyclohexane. So when we go for a hydrogenation we are going to add up the one molecule of a hydrogen that is a saturated is unsaturated is getting country saturated or the vice versa. So when I convert the in the theoretical explanation I require around minus 359 kilojoules when I go for the class calculation. But the experimental data, it is just I require minus 208. So the difference is 150.6 kilojoules per mole and that is the resonance energy of the benzene. And the other important thing which is the contribution of the resonance is the stability. So when the molecule has several resonance structure, then the molecule is considered to be highly stable with a low resonance structure. The reason being, we know during the resonance, the, it allows the delocalization. As a result, the overall energy of the molecule gets reduced since the electrons occupy a larger volume. So we know when the energy is reduced, obviously the stability increases. And hence the greater the number of resonating structure, greater will be the stability. Coming to the applications of resonance effect, we have several applications. It explains the stability of molecules and ions and as we already discussed, it also gives the reasoning why we get unexpected bond length in the molecules and the acidity of phenols and carboxylic acid can be explained by the phenomena of resonance and several mechanisms of reactions also can be explained by the resonance and the other most important application it explains the relative base strength when they compare with an aliphatic amine and an aromatic amine. 
So let us look to the stability of a carbocation. So we know what is a carbocation. Whenever we have a positive charge on your carbon and reactive intermediate, we say it to be a carbocation. If such a carbocation is conjugated with a double bond, it is more stable. The reason here being, because of the double bond, there is a delocalization of pi electron of conjugated double bond that results in the resonating structure. So this increases the stability of the alicyclic carbocation when compared to the alkyl cation due to the phenomena of the resonance. The same is also true with the benzene carbocation because of the resonance it is much more stabilized. Similarly, the stability of the other intermediates anion and the free radical can also be explained in the resonance phenomena. As already said, whenever we have a carboanion which is conjugated with an aromatic ring, there increases the stability of the anion. Whatever the negative charge we have on the benzyl carbanion will be dispersed over the other carbon atom because of the phenomena of resonance and hence the benzyl carbanion is more stable when compared with an ethyl carboanion. The same also applies with the free radical. Simple alkyl radical are less stable than allylic and benzylic type of free radical and here the reason being the same because of the delocalization of the unpaid electron over the pi system. And the second, the important thing, the effect of resonance is that it explains the acidity of phenol. So we know alcohols have the functional group OH, but in phenols we have the functional groups on an aromatic ring. So we say phenols are acidic when I compare the acidic between the alcohols and phenol. So greater the acid strength of phenol as compared to alcohol. In an aqueous solution, phenol releases a proton to form phenoxide ion. And because of the release of proton, the phenols are acidic in nature. So, any factor which increases the release of proton or stabilizes the anion will increase the acidity or make the phenol to be more acidic in nature. So, let us look the reason why the phenols are acidic in nature. So, since we have an aromatic ring between both of them, Phenol and phenoxide ion are stabilized by the resonating structure. These are the resonating structure for the phenol and these are the resonating structure of phenoxide ion. So when I look to the resonating structure of the phenol, here we have a positive charge on three resonating structure. So it involves the separation of charges in the case of phenol and hence this resonating structure will not contribute much to the stability. However, when I take the phenoxide ion, these are the resonating structure of phenoxide ion where because of the resonance we have dispersal of negative charge because of the delocalization of electron. And hence, the phenoxide ion is more stable compared to phenol. And that is the reason the phenol gets converted to phenoxide ion by giving a proton. And hence, phenols are acidic in nature. Next, very important property of carboxylic acid is the phenomenon of acidity. So, when you take a carboxylic acid, 
It dissociates in an aqueous condition to give a carboxylic anion and a proton is liberated. And the strength of an acid can be determined by Ka, the dissociation constant, or the negative log of the Ka, that is the pKa. Ka is directly related, so higher the value of Ka, stronger will be the acid, lower the value of pKa, stronger will be the acid. So here, the dissociation constant pKa log Ka is obtained from the reaction, applying the law of chemical equilibrium, we get a constant that is the Ka. The acid strength of the carboxylic acid depends on the release of the proton in aqueous solution to give the carboxylic anion. Both the carboxylic acid and carboxylic anions are stabilized by the resonance. So, when I look into the resonating structure of carboxylic anion, they are equivalent compared to the carboxylic acid. So, these are the resonance contributor of carboxylic acid and these are the resonating structure of your carboxylic anion. So, these two structures are not equivalent because of the presence of negative charge in one of the in one of the resonating structure of carboxylic acid that is it involves the charge separation however when we look the resonating structure of your carboxylic acid they are equivalent involving the dispersal of the negative charge so with the dispersal of the negative charge, make the resonating structure of carboxylate anion to be more stable. And hence carboxylate anion are more stable than the carboxylic acid. And that is the reason carboxylic acid undergo dissociation to give you an anion that makes the carboxylic acid to be as stick in nature. So these are the pKa value of ethnoic acid and phenol 4.76 and 10. And the mechanisms of reactions also could be explained with the help of the phenomena called the resonance. So when I take the phenol we have the OH group as discussed earlier. This has a plus resonance effect because of the delocalization or the movement of the lone pair of electron on oxygen towards the ring. Thus, the electron density on the benzene ring is particularly increased comparatively to ortho and para position. And hence, the phenol is more reactive towards electrophilic substitution and the substitution is favored at ortho and para position. At the end, we will also discuss the relative base strength of aliphatic amines and aromatic amine. So, we know the base, a Lewis base, is the one which donates a pair of electrons and here the acceptor is the acid. Greater the tendency to donate the pair of electrons, the stronger will be the base. So, let us compare the basicity among the ethyl amine and alkyl amine and the aniline and aromatic. So it is a primary amine and as we have discussed because of the inductive effect aliphatic primary amine that is ethyl amine are more stronger base and compared to the aromatic amine that is the aniline and here because of the inductive effect there is an increased tendency to donate the pair of electron and hence more basic in nature. Or the inductive effect increases the electron density which makes or increases the basic strength. In contrast, when I compare an aromatic amine that is the aniline, we have the following resonating structure. Due to the resonance, 
the lone pair of electron on the nitrogen get delocalized over the benzene ring and it is less available for to capture a proton compared to methyl ethyl amine and hence it is a weaker piece. This we complete the resonance. Thank you.